I'm pretty sure this doesn't have ram because you know haram. Should we be having Russian salad now? It's like a mmm flavor. Like it's not mm 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 flavor. You know what I mean? Al dente. Beautiful. Tasty. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we are here in one of the most aesthetically pleasing eatery or cafes in Uttara La Mirchi. So I've been meaning to come here for a while now, but never got the chance. But we are here today, and let's look at their beautiful interior. very beautiful bal balcony where you can see a view of the lake and I want to show you guys so let's go this is the lake I think and you can all... this is the view okay to me and this is the view it's very sunny now yeah. so it's kind of hot but if it's, it was winter this would have been such a nice place so, you know take some pictures take some photos enjoy the view have your coffee it's yeah. very pretty man right very pretty Loving excellent. the vibes. Yeah, excellent view. Let's see how the food is. They have a very diverse menu. Like they have like Middle Eastern stuff, they have kebabs, they have pastas, they have baked fishes and a lot of things. So we ordered a bunch of items from different places so that we can get a taste of their overall menu. And we also ordered their drinks. Two of the most popular drinks that they have, the dragon fruit drink and the pina colada. And they look beautiful. Just look at them. So guys, we got served with a lot of food and here is what we ordered. So for starters, we have a Russian salad which looks pretty interesting. Then we have chicken satay, we have hummus and we have like zatar bread naan or zatar naan. Then for mains, we have fettuccine alfredo pasta, baked prawns, lemon butter fish and their adana kebab. And like mentioned for drinks, we have their pina colada and their dragon fruit drink. So let's start with the drinks because I'm thirsty and it's hot. Cheers, 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 come on. Cheers. Oh, Manda Bricks. So this is a pina colada. Pina colada usually has like pineapple juice, coconut and rum, but I'm pretty sure this doesn't have rum because you know, haram. So we're just gonna drink. Mm. Dragon fruit tastes nice. Mmm, refreshing. Now this is actually refreshing. <laughs> I, I like the juice. It's tangy, it's a bit it's not too sweet. I don't like sweet drinks, so I really like the pina colada. Let's try the dragon fruit one. Oh, that's sweet. You get the dragon fruit, you definitely get the dragon fruit flavor. It's a bit on the sweeter side, so if you like sweet drinks, go for this. If you want something light, tangy, and refreshing, go for the pina colada. So we're gonna start off with chicken satay. Satay. So we're gonna start off with chicken satay, which is their like appetizer. Nice. I'm gonna take a bit of the sauce. I'm gonna try it without. I'm gonna try it cheers, without the sauce. Cheers. cheers. Wow. It's not bad, but it's not really wow. I mean, it's not blowing my mind. It has a nice spicy glaze. It's not blowing my mind, but it's good. As chicken. Next, we have a very intriguing starter. It's a Russian salad. I mean, it's should me. we be having Russian salad now? Uh, isn't Russia cancelled? Mm -hmm. Anyways, it looks interesting. It looks like it has like chicken, mayo, potatoes, olives. And there's this, like apple and cheese and cream. Let's just try it. Oops. 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 Russian salad. I don't know what to expect to react to it. It has a very subtle flavor. It's gonna be fulfilling though. Like I feel like the salad is very fulfilling. The flavors are muted, like it's not in your face, it's not spicy or it's not tangy. It's like a mmm flavor. Like it's not mmm mmm mm flavor, you know what I mean? So you might like it if you like salads in general. Do you give it a shot if you want to have something light, fulfilling and not heavy on the spices. Now we've been to Russia and it was okay. Let's go to Middle East and see how they're doing. So we're gonna be trying the zatar bread, which I'm very interested to try because you don't find it in a lot of places. Yeah. Um, it's very popular in Middle Eastern countries. But zatar is kind of like a Middle Eastern spice. I didn't really like it when I was younger, but then it grew on me, so I like it now. This is hummus, and then we have adana kebab with like chutney and some kind of sauce. So let's try the hummus and the bread first. 
Ooh, flaky. Non flaky. Now, I know a lot of people don't like hummus. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but if you do like hummus, you do like hummus. Mmm. The, the za'atar is like super fragrant. I love it. And this hummus is also very nice. It's creamy. I know a lot of people complain that in some places the hummus is bitter. This is not bitter at all. It could do with a bit more, bit more tang, but other than that, it's a very good hummus. So we're gonna try the Adana kebab next because you know we're already in Middle East. Might as well have some kebabs. Yeah, Middle East is nice. Kebab na ke dal. Oh man, the minced meat, the spices, the flavor, the fragrance—it's a bomb, man. It's so good. It's honestly so good. Let's try with this. I'm pretty sure this is some kind of mint chutney. Mm, prefer it without the chutney. Yeah, this is good. What is this? This is like a yogurt-based sauce. Hmm. Right? I feel like these kind of kebabs they go with like yogurt-based sauces. But this is super. Yes. Kebab. Fantastic. If you're into kebabs or Middle Eastern cuisine, you need to have this. Now we're going to Italy. But we can still have some Alfredo pasta sitting right here in La Merci. So as you can see, they have the toasted bread, chicken, the creamy Alfredo sauce fettuccine. and pasta. This fettuccine pasta. cheesy super creamy super rich it's kind of sinful to have it because it's so rich and decadent especially the chicken it's so nice let's dip the toast, toast in some sauce you usually do it at the end of having your pasta but we're just gonna try it now the cream the cheese the creaminess and the cheesiness fantastic al dante this is i think also one of the beautiful tasty we're off to a good start with the mains yeah so we were in land till now now we're gonna take a dive into the sea and have some jumbo stuffed prawns it's stuffed with mashed potatoes veggies and there's like a layer of cheese on the prawns let's dig into it i'm not sure how to have it i'm just gonna Ooh. Cheesy, very cheesy, salty, creamy. There are like bits of jalapenos in here, and so much prawn meat. Let's try the mashed potatoes. It's been sitting out here for a while, so it could, could be a bit tough because of that. Mm. Mashed potatoes could be a bit better. It could be a bit more creamy and buttery. Like the flavor is nice, like the salt, pepper, spices, those are nice. It's not bland, but it could be a bit more creamy and buttery. So the prawn is a definite hit. Yeah. So much meat, the cheese, the jalapenos, it just goes perfectly well. The veggies are veggies. They have a, like a lemon butter sauce here as well. Everything's nice. I feel like the mashed potatoes could do a bit better. Other than that, no complaints. So the last main we're gonna have is also from the sea. We're gonna have lemon butter fish with Sauteed vegetables and cilantro rice. This is one of their newly launched um, set menus. They have other options as well. You can look it up their page. I'm going to be linking it, linking it in the description box below. So it comes with two dories. You get vegetable, you have a lemon butter sauce and cilantro rice. Can I just dip it? So I squeeze some lemon on top as well. So 
the ideal way to have it is with lemon butter sauce. The more you take the lemon butter sauce, the more flavorful it is. The fish is cooked very nicely. I like the char on it. I like the meat here. It's like tudori. Let's try it with the rice. Cilantro rice. Yup, Very fragrant. It's very fragrant. I like it. So of all the two seafoods that we had, like the stuffed prawns and the lemon butter fish, I think I prefer the lemon butter fish because it tastes really nice, especially with that squeeze of lemon and that lemon butter sauce. And this feels like a more of a proper meal with the rice and the veggies and the fish. So I like this more than like that's a good deal as well. But that feels more like a starter. I don't know. This tastes better. So we had lots of food today. And we still have dessert coming, which is gonna be a sizzling brownie. But if I had to choose from all the mains, I think I really love their Adana kebab. Like it's stuck in my mouth, like I want to go for it more. Which is getting me excited to try all their other Middle Eastern items and their kebabs because they did a super banging job. I also like the fettuccine Alfredo pasta. That was so good. That was really good. And lemon butterfish. These are like my top three contenders. We have our dessert right here, the sizzling brownie. Brownie on fire. You know how it goes, hot pan, brownie on top, chocolate sauce, ice cream on top, the usual. Let's see how it tastes. It's already like bubbling, the chocolate sauce is like... I'm a gourmet food program. maybe you should start, you can have hot stuff. <laughs> Sizzling brownie with ice cream, hot stuff. Is it too hard? Is it too hard? It's too hard. Oh, the brownie is nice. Watch your hand. Is it too hot still? It's a bit hot, but it's food in the oven. It's food in the oven. The brownie is really nice. a bit burned, super soft, the chocolate sauce is nice and the cold ice cream. It goes well. Yes, I didn't expect apple model again. Because to be honest, we don't usually order sizzling brownie. Yeah. Right? Me neither. I feel like my brownie shouldn't sizzle. It should just sit. But this sizzling is nice sizzling. <laughs> so guys, that was my first time trying La Mirchi and honestly, it was a 9 out of 10 experience. The extra one point because of the ambience and how beautiful it looks, it's very aesthetic. The food was really good, like everything we tried, we loved most of the items. We still have a lot to try, so maybe we're going to be coming here to try their coffee and their breakfast items some other time. But one of the best times to come here is probably in the evening when the sun's not right in your face and it gives that, you know, golden hour vibe. It's pretty nice. So if you want to check them out, I'm going to be linking them in my description box below. They're in Uttara, they're in Sector. Five or three, I want to see. It's like right behind La Bamba, if you know where the La Bamba is. So yeah, and yeah. So don't forget to like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.